everybody, this is Gina Bear reporting to you for duty, and today I'm doing a segment, Let's Cooking with Gina Bear. So in this segment, I'm going to teach you guys how to make some really easy kimchi chige that my boyfriend taught me. I guess this is for all you guys who are trying to save some money. I'm doing this video today because a lot of you guys requested that I do some food related things on my channel and since I'm eating a lot more Korean food and I feel a bit more confident in my cooking skills so let's get started the first thing you're gonna need is some kimchi this is the kimchi that my boyfriend's mom gave to me so you're gonna need preferably home kimchi but if you can buy it at the store that's okay too the next thing you're gonna need is obviously a pot to boil the kimchi soup in and you're gonna need some sesame oil take the sesame oil and then put it in the pan just put a little bit, you don't need too much. Then, you're going to take the kimchi and you are going to cut it up into little bite-sized pieces. And don't be special like me, like wear gloves because the kimchi actually will stain your fingers. So, I advise you to do that. Keep cutting enough bite-sized pieces until you are satisfied and keep adding them to the pot. Cook the kimchi under a medium heat and you know the kimchi is done when it starts giving off a cooked, crispy kind of kimchi smell. Next, add water to the kimchi and make sure that the kimchi is completely covered in water and maybe about a fourth of an inch over. And what a lot of Koreans do is they take the flavoring from ramen packets and they add it in the kimchi soup just so it has more flavor and that's what I'm going to do. In this case, I'm using sesame ramen. Then I'm going to add this little packet of seasoning and stir it around. Under low heat, then you're going to simmer the kimchi soup and make sure it's covered with a lid. You should do this for about 10 to 15 minutes until the kimchi reaches a nice simmering boil. Once the kimchi reaches a nice simmer, then you can add some ramen and you can simmer that along for 1 to 2 minutes. And this is also optional, but you can add some tuna or some pork into your kimchi chige. I personally prefer the tuna, I don't really like meat that much, so you can just add that into the chige pot too. Then you can add some more water and you can stir around the tuna and the ramen mixture. After you're done, put the lid back on and let it simmer for about 5-7 to seven minutes. And that's it, then you're done. I like to eat mine with anchovies, rice, and seaweed on the side, and it's really good. Mmm. So good. I really love anchovies. I don't know if you guys know that, but they're really good. Mmm. So I hope you all enjoyed this video today. If you like this video and you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to my YouTube page down below. Please give this video a like if you'd like to see more food related videos. Follow me on GinaBearsBlog.com, Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you all later. Gina Bear, signing out.